Hello, this is Petit Miku, and this is a tutorial on how to downgrade Dark Souls 3 using my down patcher. So first of all, I am starting up Dark Souls 3 to show you that I am on what is currently the latest patch. One thing that is very important is that the patch you downloaded, which here says 1.05.1, regulation 1.08 to 1.3, is the same version as what your game currently is. So there, you see application version 1.05.1 .1, regulation 1.08. This needs to be the same as the patch you downloaded. Now what you want to do is open the game's game folder. To do that, go to properties, local files, browse local files. And it will open a folder, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dark Souls 3. Now you want to put everything that is inside the zip file you downloaded. Wait, what? Okay. You want to put everything inside of here. If there is already a Dark Souls 3 patch files folder, because you patched it before, just delete it to make sure that there is no unnecessary files. That just takes extra space on your game on your hard drive. Now that you copied everything inside, start ds3 patch.bat. This down patch will downgrade Dark Souls 3 from 1.05 yet yeah, this version to 1.03. Be sure to have at least 18 gigabytes of free space for the down patcher to work properly. Please do not close the window while downgrading to avoid file corruption. Now hit the key to continue and it will check if you have the correct game version for every file and it will then patch the files. If you look on the right, there are backups, .back files that have been made. And this is why you need to have at least 18 gigabytes of free space, because the total amount of backup files can take up to 18 gigabytes of free space. At the end, when everything is patched, you have the option to keep the .back files or just delete them. So all the .back files are basically the current patch files. So in this case, the 1.05.1 .1, regulation 1.08 files. And the normal files that do not have that back at the end are the 1.03 files. Now when it's patching a file, it's making a temporary file of it. So do not worry about that, that will go away as soon as the file is patched. It can take a while because there is six, 16 gigabytes worth of files to down patch. Now one thing that you can already do while everything here is patching is deleting or renaming your save files because you cannot use old you cannot use uh, latest patch files with older patch files to access your save files click on the start button don't worry about mine being different and then type percentage app data percentage and hit enter it will open the roaming folder just go open the dark souls 3 folder and now you will see a folder with a bunch of numbers. This is a save folder and this is the save file. If you don't care about your save file, you can just delete it. If you do wish to keep your save file, you can either rename this folder or rename this file. I'm going to rename this file. Just call it ds30000.sl2.back or backup. It doesn't matter how you rename it, just rename it in a way that you remember the original name. So now that this has been renamed, the game will not lo try to load this save file. If you try to load your latest, your latest patch save file with an older patch game,
it will basically give you an infinite loop in the main menu telling you that the game version and save file version are different. So now that this has been done, we wait for the down patcher to do its thing. If you update your game again and go on the recent patch, for example a DLC came out and you want to just play again with your save file, the new save file that will have been created, you can just rename it, for example, the back with two Ks, and then rename this save file, which is your latest file version latest patch safe file just rename it back to the original name so now that the save file is renamed there will be no conflict and you can close the save file window Okay, so now it's done patching. Um, I made a little cut because uh, data5.bdt is, as you can see, 12 gigabytes. So that will take a very long time to patch. I think it took like three or four minutes for me. So I just cut it out because three minutes of blank is just not entertaining. So once every file is patched, you see of any file that, any file that has been patched, there is a backup which is, as I said, the latest, the latest version. And the files without back are the patched versions. Now, once everything is patched, it says, do you wish to keep the backups of the current patch files? Which is all these backups. If you say yes, Nothing else will nothing else will happen and everything is done. If you say no, it will delete every single backup files. So I'm going to type no, I don't want to keep the backups. And if you want to retrieve the current patch files, you can just verify game cache in Steam. So I'm going to type no, hit enter. Thank you for using this down patcher. Enjoy your down patched game. And as you've seen, every single backup files is gone. So if you want to get, if you didn't keep the backups and you want to get your current patch back, just right click, property, local files, verify and integrity of game cache. And it will re-update your game. Now I'm going to start Dark Souls 3 to show you that it is indeed down patched to version 1.03. Okay, we need to scroll all the way over down because we got rid of the safe of the safes. An update to the game is available. To use network feature, please install the update and restart game. Starting in offline mode. And we have off we are offline, we have version 1.03, regulation version 1.03. And our save files are gone. Because we renamed them. Good game and thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any problems um, just contact me I'll try to help you as much as possible and have a nice day and enjoy your downpad game